Hey, hello my friends. Uh, I'm in the Philippines right now and I have two uh, very beautiful and super friendly uh, Pinays. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi. Hi! Welcome to the Philippines. We're inviting you here in the Philippines. Yeah, they're really super friendly people and uh, it's nice to uh, meet people like them and uh, and it's nice for me to bring the family and they, they you know, they, we came here. We were really privileged to come to this really nice Japanese restaurant because they have this Japanese restaurant yes, try all it. around it's the world. Here in Nobu, Manila. Yeah, you want if you want to see these beautiful pinais, um, <laughs> you just you know come here and they'll be here. Salamat po. Yeah. Maraming salamat. Yeah, awesome. Well, today I'm going to talk about my vlog on uh, Hong Kong. Since I'm in the Philippines, I'm kind of stuck here because the um, Philippines just announced, the government health minister just announced that all flights from mainland China, Hong Kong and Macau are not allowed to come to the Philippines. And that includes, you know, Hong Kong. And I'm probably, you know, I'm affected in a way, but you might think, oh, I'm, I'm already here in the Philippines. But the thing is, if the planes don't come from Hong Kong, how can I get back, right? So I'm, I, I need to uh, book a flight back to Hong Kong. So it's not working out because now flights are being canceled uh, coming to the Philippines, uh, like, like probably 90% drop or 80% drop, and which is a really big problem. And uh, what can I do now is just to wait it out, I guess, here. And school is pretty much, uh, you know, it's it's they don't have to go to school because of the the they call it the NCOV virus. Uh, so they're doing they have to still get up at like seven o'clock in the morning and they use the Google Classroom and the the teacher sees their faces and make sure they go to class online. So it was pretty good. Like they were staying they were like at the restaurant today, like eight in the morning, and they uh, finish like four. So it's pretty much homeschooling with all these teachers and homeworks and assignments you have to do. Let's check it out. Wow, there's a steak. Yes. Very nice, thank you. See, these guys are so lucky here, you know? And they get to extend their stay here in the, the Philippines. <laughs> Pick up the restaurant here. It's a really nice place. And also, I think last night they already uh, canceled most of the flights from North America. So go, I think United Airlines, American Airlines has suspended all flights uh, going from Hong Kong to uh, America, the States. Uh, so that will be a massive problem for me because now all I have armed is some waiting, wait listed tickets going back to Hong Kong. So these uh, tickets are already paid for and Kathy uh, promised that they won't charge me for changing the dates but the thing is I don't have any confirmed dates to go back to Hong Kong and from now even for some countries now leaving from Hong Kong to other destinations that you need to be in a two-week uh, quarantine so that will be a big issue also as for the schools for the kids, at first they said it will be suspended until the 2nd of March. But now they, sus yeah, it's suspended on the 2nd, but before they said it was suspended until the 16th of February. So I had my plans uh, like on the 15th to go back. But when they changed uh, the dates for the school, uh, this must be a serious situation. So I changed the dates, but they couldn't confirm me now. So. That's it's. Oh, we were uh, here for a vacation, enjoying ourselves, but in this kind of situation, we don't really have the mood to go out and play or play golf or explore uh, Philippines. Well, here's Cat. She's all looking good. Can you turn around for me because I really <laughs> like the design of this uh, dress. It's really awesome. Look at that. Isn't that Designed by Mr. Rahul. Wow, so it's really good. 
Thank you. Well, now I'm in the Philippines, but I see a lot of my friends in Hong Kong obviously are having a very difficult time. Uh, they are really afraid that they'll get contaminated or they'll catch the virus from somewhere, and that has been a serious issue. And remember, on I think I showed on my Facebook. So anyway, guys, check out my Facebook, Instagram page here on my Facebook, uh, Instagram, and. Uh, you know, come to my Facebook page if you guys can and give me a like for this video. And the thing is, the masks, there is a complete shortage of masks, medical masks, but people can protect themselves wearing a mask. And all the alcohol, you know, the sanitizers are all out of stock. And this is creating a huge problem. And like last, like last night, you would see actually literally tens of thousands of people uh, lining up uh, on the street, you know, the blocks, round and round the blocks like twice just to get a box of masks. And some uh, pharmacies are selling the really cheap, like unqualified or whatever, like really bad quality masks for a really high price. And people are really getting upset about this situation. And it's the government hasn't, they tried to help us, but they didn't really come with any, they couldn't even find any masks. Unlike Macau, they already got like if you show your Macau ID, you would get ten masks automatically from any chem chemist. So the stock is plentiful in Macau, but in Hong Kong, sanitizers, masks are really in a big shortage. And if you guys have to work or something like that, and you don't wear, you know, can wear a mask to protect yourself, or if you're not feeling well to protect others. That is a problem. And the thing is, that sounds pretty ridiculous. The Hong Kong government said, well, there isn't enough masks to go around. We're trying our best to get it. But at the meantime, you don't really have to wear a mask. Well, I don't know. I'll, I'll let you guys decide, uh, is that a good idea or not? And talking about like uh, people giving out news and fake news is also bad. Um, there was a fake news that saying that all the toilet rolls, the toilet toiletry, you know, the toilet paper, the napkins will be all out of stock in Hong Kong. Uh, some some somehow they're gonna close the border or something like that. Uh, so everybody went to the supermarket and just bought out clear the shelves. So you can't get even a, a roll of toilet paper or anything. Uh, and there's people that are even stocking up on Coca-Cola. Believe it or not, that's kind of ridiculous. Uh, after, uh, so now, right now, everybody's at the supermarket uh, raiding, raiding the supermarket in Hong Kong. And another thing is, I think the government is refusing to 
close all the borders to mainland China from Hong Kong, and which has caused the you know the hospital uh, a lot of uh, issues because you don't know who's coming to Hong Kong uh, that has the virus for medical treatment because they think they can go to the public hospitals in Hong Kong and get free treatment. One of the reasons they're coming down to Hong Kong, you know, in, you know, and a lot of people coming down is because in the mainland China, all the hospitals are already full and they are unable to take them. And each city is like sealing off their borders. So while they get, well, you know, while they have, they can run away and come to Hong Kong for treatment, they will run away to come down to Hong Kong. And we're afraid, you know, a lot of people are afraid that a lot of people will be infecting the citizens uh, in Hong Kong, which is, uh, will be a major issue. Well guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching my video today. And uh, yeah, it's sad that I can't go back to Hong Kong and Hong Kong is basically turned upside down. Uh, I think Hong Kong hasn't had much luck lately, you know, for last year and uh, beginning of this year. So anyway, thank you for watching. Give me a like and uh, check out the link below on the description box. And there are many goodies that I use and like. And uh, thank you very much. Goodbye.